Hi there, let's talk for a couple of minutes about this cause and effect relationship between results and outcomes. So results and outcomes are synonymous terms to me, and we're using them to build a performance measurement framework that allows us to understand cause and effect from the work that we do, from the impact of the work we do on those outcomes across time and as it flows through. So we're talking now about the performance measurement process called PUMP. There's eight steps to this, and there's other videos where I've talked about these, these eight steps in more detail. But right now, we're going to dive into this step two. This is where we map out all of these results, and then we can translate the strategy that sometimes we write into weaselly language and language that's not measurable or even clear to us in our organization, and how we then move from that to getting a a set of measurable outcomes. So there are five measurability tests in the pump method. Uh, we're just going to focus on the first three. The first three of these measurability tests are making sure it's a result. That is, if we've come up with an action, let's figure out why we're doing the action and what is the intended outcome or result that comes from it. We don't want any of these weasel words in there. If these words don't make any sense to us or within our organization we have multiple ways of understanding what that word means then it's a weasel word let's get to clear language so that we can all understand it and be on the same page and then each one of these results and outcomes must be a single focus on its own we can't have efficient and effective service delivery for example because those two things are often in conflict. We'd have to define what effective and efficient actually mean when that service delivery is done well and the outcome we expect from it and measure those things separately. So we use these measurability tests to first come up with the language for the results. As we do, we build a cause and effect map. So moving from teams at this level, the outcomes of the work teams do produced here it has a flow on effect then to the next level and then into the results for the overall vision, mission or purpose for the organization. And that way then everything is aligned towards the vision, mission and purpose and the results that come from that. This then creates a measurement framework. It's a result, a results based and outcomes based framework based on cause and effect that connects the outcomes or the results from every team through to the vision, mission, purpose of the organization. And then later we can design performance measures to fit around this measurement, this outcomes-based framework so that we then create a measurement framework as well. So the results are always seen in the context of the organization. So therefore we see results here that have got these multiple relationships. That's the way it works in our organizations. We've got results here that are companions with each other. In other words, those two results need to be achieved in, together, side by side. We can also have, and I don't think there's one on this map, uh, things that are in conflict. So therefore, as you may have seen in your organization, sometimes a team will push ahead on one particular activity or result, and it has a detrimental effect on the other. What we need to do is understand those conflict relationships and measure them so that we can understand how to get that balance between those two things. When we have them built in this framework, this cause and effect framework, using the pump methodology, that allows us then to build this framework for measurement. So this is an example. It's a government-owned corporation for power. It's all about what the teams are achieving here and as we push through we do have a conflict relationship here. I just noticed uh, we are profitable. Uh, we are progressive and adaptable. They actually define those words, even though they sound, it's multi-focused and it's, it's, it's their words. It's their result. And they defined it and they had a clear understanding of it. So even though we've got those principles about the, the three uh, measurability tests we just talked about, you still apply it to your own context because it's your organization and it's done in consultation with the people in the organization as well. Here's another one, a local government one. 
teams achieve these things out here. The teams are doing stuff out in this white space and then their outcomes are tracked here and it flows through to organizational level outcomes. And that is a quick overview of step two of Pump, which is all about how we build outcomes and results focused maps that are based on cause and effect. And cause and effect is key to understanding and having an influence on performance and how to improve performance over time. Anyway, I hope this has been of value and thanks for watching.